Yeah. Yeah. It's not about that. It's all about McDonald's. <laughs> I'm not surprised. So, what are some issues you inherited from the previous administration? There was the stock market collapse. Ooh. There was a lot of economic recession. Uh, oil price increase. Uh, property crime rates were going up. Ooh. George H. W. Bush. He, he, no new taxes, but uh, <laughs> lots of new taxes he had. And then, uh, I passed it off, I think, in pretty good shape to George W. Bush. What was his management style? How did he run his executive office and his meetings? Well, we, we were very informal. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I just came back from a meeting with him recently. He wasn't those presidents that wanted you to wear a suit and tie everywhere. He wanted to be friendly with you. Uh, and at our meetings, it was very crowded. He wanted a range of opinions. What was President Clinton's character like, his traits in office? Great to work with, very informal, uh, uh, just, 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 just a little bit of chaotic manager, but he always got stuff done. He appealed to the American people. He was a rock star. He went on, uh, on um, Arsenio Hall's show during his campaign, and he played the saxophone. <laughs> He was, and he was very funny. Um, at the White House correspondence meetings, he would always crack some good jokes. Jay Leno's here. <laughs> now, no matter how mean he is to me, I just love this guy. Because together, together we give hope to gray-haired, chunky baby boomers everywhere. <laughs> He embraced the people. When he shook your hand, he always uh, put his arm around you. People trusted him. Who were some of President Clinton's top advisors? Well, some of the top advisors on the, uh, on the bill would have to be uh, Leon Panetta. Uh, he, he was originally, I think, in the budget, and then he got moved up to the chief of staff. And then also, uh, 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 Hillary, his wife, was truly important. Uh, he made most of his decisions with uh, she actually had her own office, uh, the first first lady to have her own office in the White House, uh, and of course uh, it, it was right right down right down the hall from his because you know she had to check in on him, but uh, clearly she didn't do that great of a job. <laughs> but uh, you know, and oh, George Stephanopoulos uh, wasn't as important as some of them, but he he was a big name because you know he's, he 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 went into the news after that, but he 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 was. He was an advisor to, uh, 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 to Bill. Did you just change accents? Yeah, you did. You definitely just changed accents. I don't think so. Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 this guy was speak all the time. You did it again. I didn't know what you're talking about. You, you just did it. You, you, you weren't speaking like this three sentences ago. You, you just did it again. Yeah. This is president. We're on. Oh, sorry. I was texting Mark. I mean, Hillary. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How would you evaluate failure to reach healthcare reform? Oh, healthcare reform. <laughs> well, we all make mistakes. Uh, I'm just happy that my only mistake in my first year of presidency was uh, just healthcare. <laughs> so I think by making that mistake, it was actually an accomplishment, if you understand what I'm saying. It's sort of like if you say, you're a bad golfer, right? And the only bad shot you hit was you just hit it into a lake, right? You get an extra point, but, uh, you know, at least you didn't hit it backwards. <laughs> or at least you didn't uh, cheat on your wife while you were playing golf. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm equated to. Though your legacy is mostly in domestic policy, let's talk some foreign policy. What was your relationship like with your advisors? Well, my secretaries of state over the years, uh, Warren Christopher and Madeline Albright, uh, they were very helpful. And 
the National Security Advisors, Anthony Lake and Sandy Berger. I took their opinions very seriously. Uh, we had to make the decision in a lot of countries uh, whether or not to, to get involved. There's a lot of rebellions and there was a lot of military coups and there was a lot of genocide and it's tough when body of population wants to stay out and body of population wants to help out the people of the world. Which countries were you debating getting involved in? Uh, Rwanda. Rwanda, there was the Rwandan genocide with the, the Hutus and uh, the Tutus. <laughs> The name always cracks me up. Uh, the Hutus and the Tutus. And uh, we didn't get involved at first. So we just sent some supplies. Uh, and that was a genocide. And, and I have to admit, I blew it on that one. You know? Uh, we we should have helped those people. What were some of his flaws? Some of his flaws? Well, I mean, I think you have to point out all the scandals that... Uh, he, he was involved in, you have the Monica Lewinsky scandal, which just sort of took time off his presidency. Um, and the Paula Jones, when you add that in, you have Whitewater, and might have been stuff that he was hiding. But, you know, he still still seemed to get the job done. So, um, you know, that's what people judge him based off of, and some people just sort of focus on all the other drama. A president can only sign bills when Congress passes them, making a good relationship imperative. What was your relationship with Congress like? Uh, uh, six out of the eight years I was president, Congress was dominated by Republicans. My friend Newt Gingrich with his little uh, <laughs> little his, his tour or his tour smacky thingy, he 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 he, he tried to stifle everything I did in Congress with Congress. Uh, but, but he, he was not a very good speaker of the House, and it, it showed when the government shut down. What were your fo uh, policy focus points to deal with these issues? Oh, I told the people, I feel your pain, but welfare, we have to end it. And that's what I did. <laughs> I got people off of welfare. I said, you have two years. You could find a job in two years. There's tons of jobs out there. And overall, I mean, t poverty levels fell. There was 20 million jobs created in my eight years in office. I passed budgets I, with a surplus. I'm the last president to do that. 1998, 1999, 2000, 2001 after that I left office. But all four of those years, I passed a budget with a surplus.